Thank you so much for watching Tomofujita Music. This time, George Benson tunes, Affirmation. I think I, you know, a lot of people like that this song. And I guess I, um, I already did done this song for arpeggio and soloing technique and some rhythm of guitar and my guitar wisdom. But they, here, I want to show you how to cook this song and three levels. So first level is rhythm guitar. And make sure the first part is really simple rhythm guitar. And then second level is entire chord progression. And the third level will go into the challenge soloing over the chord changes. So if you know the song, the first thing you can think of um, chord changes, but just kick, uh, listen to this, right? So the first, you see like, uh, um, I don't need a backing track to practice because I don't really practice backing track. I usually do uh, play rhythm guitar, understand uh, concept of a chord changes with the harmony, and then I understand the basic theory, uh, I mean like, you know, idea of chord changes and scale applications and bluesy phrase and all that. Okay, so the first part, I, so here, I promise you to do this. So E minor seven and B minor seven. So you have to practice like rhythm guitar. That's already a lot of information because this key of B minor. But then, just like a si similar to Japanese um, city pop music, they don't really start one, usually start four. So this case, four minor. And then one. So like first you have to practice this part, okay? And then bridge, it's become a little bit jazzier. So from here, so repeat, then I go. Similar to, uh, similar to sunny. So this is really A minor seven, D ninth, okay? D ninth chorus, and then C major, I'm sorry, G major seven, And then here, C, um, C ninth. Sorry, I have to, I have to see the time. Here I go. Time. Yeah. Good. Good. So here. <laughs> then. So here. C nine. 
Okay, so now F sharp minor seven. Let's do this B seven flat thirteen. Kind of jazzy. Almost a three six two five, but this thirteen, and then go to D major major key. Then I play D sharp diminished, which is nice diminished, which is a function as B7. So section the first I mean B minor C B Um, sort of a chord tone, minor third, and now here E minor, E minor, and then sometimes I replace with G major seventh, which is minor third above. This concept I always use, minor third above, major seventh. Sorry, Steve Irvine. You know that concept, major seven, right? So here, B minor seven. B minor seven, minor third above D, D major. How how long I have? Okay, I still have a couple minutes. Okay, so okay, it's so good. So then you repeat that. So the two five. I do a lot of this uh, lesson too. So five flat three root flat seven third fifth flat seven flat nine. Melodic minor thing. Enemy. Thank you. 
What do you think? So, couple of lessons. I think I played a little too long. So this is, I think, the right time. So please tell me. It's the right length. Just, you know, simpleness is, I think, really great. And so, and thank you so much for your, all your comment. I really enjoy reading. And I take notes. And all the requests, I write here, my notes, requests. I can't really promise everything to do, but at least I'm doing it as much as I can. And so, and you are part, you can support me. Um, share this one with your friends, subscribe my uh, YouTube channel. But also, if you want to support me, um, joining my Guitar Wisdom site, which is really helpful. And I have a lot of uh, foundation and all the lessons, you know. I really enjoy making more theory lessons. And now I'm going to make more jazz lessons, funk lessons, blues lessons too. So anyway, and here, this kanji guitar. Again, a lot of reflection today. Oh my god, so much reflections. Look at that. Here you go. Oh yeah, this. I think this is good. What do you think? So, Thank you. Thank you so much. So, see you soon. Bye-bye.